let's talk about free range. What does it mean? And maybe more importantly, what does it not mean? So there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what the phrase free range means. Now free range is a term that's been around for quite a while. Uh, people have generally a very positive um, image of what the term free range is. Some people run a little loose with the definition. They apply it to people and well, maybe, maybe so. But first of all, when you go to the grocery store and you are maybe buying eggs and that carton has the phrase on there, free range, what does that mean? Does it mean what you think it means? Do you have images of chickens running around in green grass and scratching in the sunshine and eating bugs and all the things a happy chicken is supposed to do? Well, if you're like most people in America, that's exactly what you picture when you read the phrase free range on those egg cartons. But according to the USDA on their own website, uh, in their own terms, their definition of free range is, and I quote, producers must demonstrate to the agency that the poultry has been allowed to access the outside, period, end quote. So you go to the grocery store and you buy the eggs and you probably pay a little bit extra just to have those words that are stamped on the carton. Unfortunately, because there is no other guidance on, uh, according to the USDA as far as uh, what uh, allowed outside means, you really have no idea what you're actually getting. So unless you know the farmer, unless you've seen where how they're raised, you really have no idea what those chickens are actually uh, living like because it's unregulated. There's no regulations. So it's really up to the farmer to decide how they want to interpret allowed access to the outside. There's no regulations stating that those chickens should ever see the sky. There's no uh, regulations that those chickens should have access to soil because outside could mean a concrete slab. Um, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you know what you're getting when you um, purchase those? You really, really don't. So there's that. So then you have the people in the chicken world who are private chicken owners, maybe they're pets, maybe they're homesteaders, you know, what have you and they look at the term free range as meaning free roaming or no fences, no boundaries. Now I have a problem with that because first of all, that's not what free range means. Um, that is why I refer to my chickens as being pastured because that gives people a better idea of how they're living, unlike the USDA terms free range because like we've already talked about, we don't know what that really means. And so I use the term pastured. You know, just because the chickens are outside, they've got um, the ability to run around and chase bugs and scratch in the dirt and enjoy the sunshine like happy chickens are supposed to, doesn't mean there shouldn't be some sort of boundary. You know, if your neighbor's dog comes into your yard and they dig holes and they, they, are, they tear up things and they're destructive, you would consider them a really bad neighbor, wouldn't you? So why do people think that just because they have chickens that there should be no boundaries and that they shouldn't uh, keep them from going wherever they want to? Because they should. Now our chickens get to run around and, and scratch and do all the things that they're supposed to do, but they have boundaries. And those boundaries are there for a very good reason. Now I don't want them living on my front porch and destroying my porch furniture. I, I like my front porch, I like to sit out there, and I don't want chicken poop everywhere. That's one reason. Secondly, I don't want them taking off and going to my neighbors or any place else that they shouldn't be. Not only do I not want to be a nuisance to my neighbors, but I want my chickens to be safe. We have a lot of predators. We have coyotes that come out in broad daylight. We have a bobcat who lives at the back of the pasture. I see her all the time on my cameras. You know, we've got things that are dangers to them. And so those fences that I have are there to keep my chickens safe. 
Free range does not mean running wild, out, out of control, willy-nilly all over the place. That is not what free range means. And so I think that is a misconception that a lot of chicken owners have. Just because your chickens have boundaries doesn't make them not free range. I, I wish people would get away from the term free range a little bit and uh, maybe that would help them have a better understanding of it. You know, God gives us free range too. And we get to go out in the world and we get to do the things that we want to do, but just because we're free range doesn't mean there aren't boundaries. You know, God gives us boundaries in the form of rules and guidance and commandments. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can go outside these boundaries that God has created, but if you do, there's going to be consequences. If you do, there are dangers. You know, there are dangers to your soul. There's dangers to your your safety. And just like God gives us boundaries, it's important for your chickens to have boundaries too. You know, I would never dream of having a horse out here in the pasture without there being some sort of fence, some sort of boundaries to keep that horse where it is supposed to be and to keep that horse safe. And so why would you do that with your chickens? So that is what I want to talk to you about today. Wednesday coffee chat with Constance. Free range.